There are a number of circle terms that you need to know on this GCC syllabus. Uh, I'm not going to list them all now, but uh, I'm going to talk about the ones that are needed in this question. Actually, I'm going to quickly talk about them all. So there's, um, there's if you have a angle in a semicircle, like so, then this will be a right angle. There's the one where if you have an angle at the center, then it'll be twice that at the circumference. So this will be 2x and this will be x. There's a cyclic quadrilateral one. So if you draw a quadrilateral within a circle, then two opposite ones add to 180 degrees. There is um, this one, this little bow tie one, I call it, that sort of this little one will equal this little one. Um, and then there's sort of slightly trickier ones. It's the fact that uh, a tangent's perpendicular to a right angle. And then you can take that a bit further and you can draw, this is called the alternate segment theorem. Um, so this angle here is the same as this angle here. And those are your main um, five, I believe. I think on the syllabus as well as the fact that um, the, a perpendicular bisector to a chord will go through the center. But I would say, uh, these ones are the key ones to know. Okay, this is sort of in kind of intuitive. You can kind of fluke that one. This one's not so useful, but important. This one is like a deemed a more difficult one. Okay, just quickly spoke about them, just to remind you. Um, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to get rid of these. Okay, well, there's something that jumps out at me here, and it's the quadrilateral. So we can say that this angle here angle D C B is going to be 180 minus 112 because I know that this and this add up to 180. So that's going to give me 68. Now it says give reasons for each stage of your working. So I need to write this in words now. Angles, sorry, not angles, opposite angles. cyclic quadrilaterals add to 180. Okay, what next? So I've got that. So now I can work out this little angle here. Angle C. Um, not C. Angle O, C, B equals 68 minus 33, which is 35. Um, and this is just, I'm not gonna give a reason for that one, like it's just kind of obvious. Um, and then finally, okay, I need to show that Y is also 35, and to do this, I need to recognize that this is an isosceles triangle. And so I can just say now Y, equals 35 degrees isosceles. And that is enough working. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna label this now. This is 35 and this blue one is 35. Right, how are we gonna get Z? Okay, I can see it it's jumping out of me because now we've got an angle at the center and we've got an angle at the circumference. So if I can work out that, I can have it. And I can work out that because I've got 35 here and 35 here. So angle BOC equals 180 degrees minus 70, which is 110 degrees. I need to give a reason. Um, angles add up to 180 in a triangle. triangles. And then finally, um, we can have that 55 degrees because the angle at the center 
is twice that at the circumference. Okay, now you know you can prove all of these circle theorems, and I would strongly advise looking at the proofs. I think they're one of the most interesting bits um, on the course. I'm not sure about that, but you know, applying geogra uh, geography, geometry, and algebra, and seeing where these theorems come from is really interesting, and being able to prove them is a high level skill. Um, so yeah, do do that. But at the end of the day, you need to know the circle theorems and be able to apply them to questions like this.